And welcome back to the Murdy Creative Co. Podcast. I'm your host, Colin Murdy, and today's topic is cutting out things from before. But first, I want to say thank you to everyone who has supported the company so far. If you haven't got a chance, go check us out on the web at murdycreative.co. That's M-U-R-D-Y creative.co. Or you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram by searching at murdycreative.co to see the best of our product shots. Follow us on social media to keep up to date with our daily photos and be sure to be the first one to know about new product launches. You can also use our subscribe button at the bottom of our website to be included in all of our new product announcements. Be sure to check out our laser engraving personalization options and exclusive colors on our website, or you can get one on Amazon Prime. All right, so today is the first episode actually that I think we're going to be able to uh, have available for viewing on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, probably a little snippets of it will show up on our Instagram. We're working on being able to produce content in a bunch of different ways. So for those of you who are visual learners, for those of you who are who are auditory learners, we can be able to help uh, connect with you in a lot of different ways. So go check us out on our Instagram. We're going to be launching that YouTube. I'm going to be reaching out to my wonderful and beautiful wife, Leah, who is excellent at editing. She has her own YouTube channel. She's very good at it. So I'm happy, hoping to, that she'll be able to help me along as we get started here. I'm also hoping that we're going to see a significant improvement in both the audio and video quality as time goes on. So for those of you out there who are part of the Murdy Nation, who've got some some practice or some experience in how to do this, I would love to hear more about it. My background's in marketing. My background is not in any sort of production. So I'd love to hear more about ways that you think we might be able to improve this. If you've got equipment that you think is good for this or other things that you might have, uh, we really appreciate any sort of input that you can provide. All right, so corrections from Karen Sue. Today, I'm sure we've got more in the in the chamber. There's a bunch, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, she'll send me some more today. So if you're out there and you're listening, Mom, which I know you are, please send me that, uh, that list of them because that actually was really helpful when it was time to set those up and set, get those sent out. Uh, and, and for those of you who uh, didn't get a chance, if you listen on Sunday, yesterday, we actually had my mother on the show, which was a, just a real joy, a real pleasure. She is actually a, a really wonderful woman, a brilliant woman, who's been a wonderful role model for me for many, many years. So I appreciate her input and her experience, uh, which is very applicable for anyone out there trying to start something new. She talked about how you reap, using that acronym, how you reap the benefits using uh, some proper tips and, and tricks. And I think they're all excellent out there. So if you haven't got a chance to go listen to that podcast, Go check it out. Uh, but that's uh, that's all we got today for that segment. So we're going to talk today a little bit more about getting rid of things uh, from the past. Now, I'm going to specifically, there's something specific that brought this up. And I'm going to use it as an example, and then I'm going to go into more into detail. So a long time ago, it was, it was Christmas of, I want to say 2015, 2016 maybe. Um, my parents got the four of us boys. It was actually brought by Santa Claus. But my parents brought us a 2008 Ford Focus. And it was a stick shift because mother had once heard that a big issue with drunk driving in college is that the DD is uh, someone who doesn't know how to drive stick and the person whose car they're all driving in is a stick shift driver in a manual vehicle and uh, that all of a sudden the person who is drunk who knows how to drive stick is the one that ends up driving. So my mother heard this and thought that it was appropriate that all of her boys learn how to drive stick, which we ended up doing. And at the time when we first got this, it was Christmas Eve, and we'd, we, we, we got our Santa presents. We opened up our Santa presents on December 24th after we go to church that evening, and it's my birthday. And so we were sitting there, and I was very excited about a present that was not the one that I thought I was going to get. And I opened up these, uh, these keys, and I didn't know what they were, and I just thought to myself, oh, great, another car for my, my mother or my older brother to drive, nothing for me to drive. And uh, actually, it was, it was very, I was very surprised to learn that the car was parked out a little ways away so we wouldn't find it. We went, when when I got there though, I I got into the car and I said, mom, there's a third pedal here. What's that for? Little did I know that that would end up becoming a big, uh, big part of our lives. All of us boys drove it. It was really quite a fun time. The, the little Ford Focus, that little black Ford Focus was such a valuable tool for us for many, many years. And, uh, I have a lot of fond memories driving in it. We called it the Batmobile because it was fast and, and nimble as a little sports car. So, but, um, I just got, I just went into the shop today and uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done on it. And I was sitting here, and my wife and I were talking about it. We've got our other car, and the the things are going well, and I work from home now, so, you know, there's not a lot of reason for us to have two cars. 
And I think it's time that the Ford Focus go to a better home, someone who, who maybe can take care of it a little better or can use, use it more because we can't really. We don't really use it that much. And, you know, for, particularly for vehicles, uh, if you leave them sit without driving them, they go bad. They, without being used, things lose their value. I mean, we talk about depreciation as this concept in, in, this, in assets, right? And in business, the machines that you have, over time they wear out and that's depreciable. That's what happens. Things, time eats away at value. And that's so true, I think, for every aspect of life though. I think time can eat away at value. And, and so I think there, there comes a time to be able to say, okay, well, is it worth it for us to spend all the time, the energy, the money, whatever it takes to make this car whole again? Or is it time to, to let it go? And this is something that is, is very big. Obviously, right now, we were in the midst of a move, and uh, my parents are actually in the midst of a move. And a lot of emotion has come out of this nostalgia, this look at the past, and this, this step in the, the backward direction, I say, kind of looking in the rearview mirror. And the memories, and there's a lot of memories tied to things in our lives. There's intimate, tight, very cherished memories that are associated with objects. And we don't want to let them go. We're afraid that if we let go of the physical object, the memories will go away too. I think that's silly. I mean, I get it. I have a couple of things myself that I don't think I'll ever get rid of uh, from my childhood. But if we think that the tangible object is, is the only thing that has any value out of that memory without realizing that it was the memory itself, the feeling, the emotion associated with it, that's the valuable thing. I think we're going to constantly spend our entire lives feeling disappointed when the things don't live up to our memories and our expectations. And I think the same goes for every sort of idea out there too. I talked previously in one of our other podcasts about this concept of the weather being right for business. That, you know, the the circumstances that surround us in the world, the technology, the 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 political impetus, the social mindedness, the things like that, those all come together at various times to allow ideas to flourish. And that we, as people who look to launch new things and persuade people to join our cause, to be leaders in a new idea. I think sometimes we, uh, we struggle with sometimes knowing when the weather is right. And I think we also struggle with being able to, to let go of things when the weather changes. The world is full of change, constantly. Every day things change. And some of the best years for companies are the ones right before the end. Blockbuster, Netflix, that was a great war. Blockbuster thought they were winning. And then they went out of business. Some of the best years of companies are right before the end. And there's a good question, why? Why does that happen? Why in the peak of our our, our prowess, our business mindedness, how at the top of our game do we fail? And the answer is that we hold on to the things we've gotten good at. We hold on to things that we should have gotten rid of, that we should have cut out. We aren't willing to say, you know what, just because this is working doesn't mean we shouldn't look to what's next. Just because this is good doesn't mean we shouldn't look to break the machine. We need to be willing to break the thing that's working to build the thing that'll work next. And that's so hard. And that's so emotional because just like the car, just like the house, just like the little things that we want to hold on to, ideas have such a sweet truth to them in that they're not real unless they're executed. And something that's not real always works. The idea always works in your head. And so sometimes we, we wait too long to give them up. And that's hard, but it's important for us. It's important for us to move on. It's important for us to realize that this is all temporal. Heaven is our home. Eternal life is all that's left. That's the only thing out there after this. And so we need to be realized that we need to be nimble. We need to be flexible. We need to look at all of the really good things and say, you know what? 
Let's keep going. I'm optimistic. I really am. The world is an amazing place. Never before has there been so much prosperity, so much opportunity. Never before has there been so little global poverty. We are on an amazing upswing and we need to keep riding that. We need to be optimistic. We need to look to the future and say the best is yet to come because it is. But the only way we're going to get there is by realizing that what we've got now is just a step and the next step may be entirely different and we need to be ready and willing to let it go. And I think that's difficult and I totally understand the emotion behind it. But if you need help, I'm here. And worst comes to worst, get yourself a binder and write down your idea. Because if the weather's not right now, maybe your kids will read that someday. Maybe your partner will read that. Maybe somebody, an archaeologist, will read that idea in a binder someday and they'll look to themselves and they'll say, you know what? That's a good idea. We should do that. Happy to help in any way I can. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to check back in tomorrow for our next topic and be sure to hit that subscribe button below to be sure to get the latest podcast right away. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns about your leather binder, please feel free to contact us on the main page of our website at murdycreative.co or you can contact us via our Facebook and Instagram. You can text, email, direct message, call, live chat, all the usuals, and I do my best to be available whenever possible, but I do appreciate your patience. Uh, if I don't get back to you right away, I'll, I'll, I will see it, I promise. Um, if you think I deserve it, a good review can go a long way to helping us grow and helping our community really grow. And, and if this is your first time uh, hearing this, if you, this is your first time seeing this, um, please find out more about our company. We really do our best to to, to help you guys and to, to really grow. So if there's anything that you, we can do for you, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, if you have any podcast topics you want to hear more about, uh, send them my way. I'm always happy to engage with our growing community and I want to give you guys what you want. I may not have all the answers, but I'm happy to talk about anything I do know something about. And frankly, I'm happy to talk about things I don't know anything about. If you're looking for multiple binders for gifts, giveaways, any re reason at all, uh, ask about our book discounts. We do have those available. Uh, and thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day and goodbye.